The consensus among experts is that the amount of sleep people get has decreased along with physical activity. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, people apparently used to get 9 or 10 hours of sleep a day, but the modern world's brutish treatment of sleep has reduced this average to 7 hours, with 5% of people sleeping less than 5 hours. This has resulted in an epidemic of sleep deprivation that affects 1 in 3 people in industrialised nations worldwide. To begin addressing these issues, it's important to understand what sleep is and why we need it. Sleep is a state of reduced physical activity and sensory awareness that is reversible and usually involves a resting posture. Physiologically, sleep is complex and varied, particularly in terms of brain activity. Measures of the brain's electrical output show two general phases of sleep. At first, we go through several stages of quiet, non-rapid eye movement or NREM sleep, during which we become increasingly unconscious, metabolism slows and body temperature falls. Eventually we enter a different, more active phase called rapid eye movement or REM sleep, during which we mostly dream. During a typical full night's sleep, we go through this entire cycle of NREM and then REM sleep four or five times, with the intensity and duration of the REM phases increasing. During sleep, our metabolic rate drops by about 10 to 15%, and about 80% of growth occurs during NREM sleep. It's thought that metabolism drops during sleep because it's beneficial for organisms to conserve energy when they are inactive. However, we don't actually need to sleep to save energy, repair tissues or recuperate. We could just sit still. Sleep is primarily about the brain. Effective cognition requires sorting through memories generated each day, discarding the insignificant ones, storing important ones and making sense of them. Experiments using sensors to monitor the brain before, during and after sleep or during sleep deprivation show that these functions often occur during sleep. As the day progresses, we store memories in the hippocampus, a region of the brain that functions as a short-term stored center. During NREM sleep, the brain triages these memories, discarding unnecessary ones and sending important ones to long-term stored centers near the surface of the brain. The brain also appears to tag and sort memories, identifying and strengthening ones we may need in the future. However, the brain has a limited ability to multitask and can't perform these cleaning, organizing and analytical functions as effectively when we are awake and alert. Sleep is therefore a necessary trade-off that improves brain function at the cost of time. On average, we need about 15 minutes of sleep for every hour spent awake, storing memories and accumulating waste. This ratio can vary greatly, with some people, like the elderly, needing less sleep and others, like children, needing more. Most mammals sleep between 8 and 12 hours a day, and most primates sleep between 9 and 13 hours. What about humans? In 2002, a study by Daniel Kripke and colleagues examined the health records and sleep patterns of over a million Americans and found that Americans who slept 8 hours a night actually had a 12% higher death rate than those who slept 6.5 to 7.5 hours. In addition, people who slept more than 8.5 hours or less than 4 hours had 15% higher death rates. While the study had flaws like self-reported sleep data and the fact that people who sleep a lot may actually already be sick, numerous studies using better data like the inertial sensors I mentioned before and better methods to account for factors like age, illness and income have confirmed that people who sleep about 7 hours tend to live longer than those who sleep for less. In no study is 8 hours optimal and in most of the studies people who got more than 7 hours had shorter lifespans than those who got less than 7 hours. An unresolved issue though is whether it would be beneficial for long sleepers to reduce their sleep time. Overall, most adults in Western countries probably average about seven hours a night, about an hour less than the supposed eight hours we need. But is that normal? These data are all from industrialized nations. What about hunter-gatherer groups who don't have electric lights, let alone clocks or internet access? Research on this group is harder to find, but one study using wearable sensors on hunter-gatherers found that they slept less than industrialized people. In warm months, these foragers slept an average of 5.7 to 6.5 hours a day, and in colder months, they slept an average of 6.6 .6 to 7.1 hours a night. 
they also rarely napped. Therefore, contrary to what is often claimed, there is no evidence that non-industrialized populations sleep more than industrial and post-industrial populations. In fact, there is little empirical evidence that average sleep duration in the industrial world has decreased in the last 50 years. The more we look, the less we can claim that eight hours is normal.